Hey viewers, welcome back to our channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. So today we are going to discuss another interesting question on the topic of strings and array that is the push domino. So before moving on to the question, if you guys are new to our YouTube channel, please, please, please do consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. So let's move on to the whiteboard. There I have already placed the question. Okay. So this is our question that is a push domino. Now there are n domino in a line and we place each domino vertically upright. So what uh, what is written, what is actually said in this question is that there are n dominoes that is placed in, a, in an array and it is assumed that all of the dominoes are actually straight upright and they are standing upright, okay, vertically upright. Now what happened that in the beginning some of the dominoes are simultaneously placed either to the left and the right and that means these uh, some dominoes start falling to the left and some dominoes start falling to the right okay so uh, when a domino start falling to the left it disturbed its left element okay uh, so let's try to understand it with an example or with the reference when this domino as you can see does this domino uh, this domino start falling towards the left when this domino start falling towards the left it disturbed its left uh, left uh, left neighbor and whenever this domino start falling towards the right it disturbed its right domino so this is the approach uh, matlab this uh, that is this is the question now before <coughs> moving forward let's try to understand that what is the input format in this question so in this question when our domino is straight upright it is not falling either to the left and the right it is shown by the uh, dot okay a dot a single dot it is shown by a single dot but when a uh, when a domino is start uh, uh, start uh, falling towards the left, it is actually shown towards the uh, show, shown with the L L alphabet, and this L signifies that a domino is pushing or falling towards the left. Similarly, when a domino is uh, falling towards the right, it is uh, shown with the R variable, and this R signifies that the domino is falling towards the right. So that's why the four domino is with the dot just because it is at the very initial, okay? At the very initial, it is not falling to the any, to anywhere. But the second domino is shown with the L, L variable. The third is with the dot just because it is not falling with, uh, to the any side. The other two are uh, shown with the dot. Actually, other three. Now, again, the L, then R, then dot, dot, L, dot, dot, okay? So this is our input format okay we are we are given a string of the characters and this string of the character contains the uh, data like this and within that data the door signifies that the domino is straight upright vertically upright and it is standing and the door and the domino at a particular position if l is written it shows that that particular domino is actually falling towards the left and the domino uh, the place uh, the position where r is written it shows that that domino is actually falling towards the right so this is your input format now let's try to understand what is actually uh, what are the different cases actually happen when some dominoes start falling towards the left and some fall start falling towards the right okay so what happened at when uh, some domino start falling towards the left it actually disturbed its last element its left element and when it disturbed its last left element there may be a case that he uh, that along with the current domino its neighbor uh, domino also start falling towards the left so let's try to understand this case and uh, you can see here you can see here this domino you can see here this domino is falling toward the left and when it uh, it start falling toward the left it disturbed its left element and along with this domino its left its left neighbor also start falling toward the left and they fall like this okay they fall like this similarly the may be case that there is a domino which start falling toward the right and its neighbor uh, domino is actually standing upright but when it's uh, when a current uh, current domino start falling the, towards the right and it disturb its neighbor what the neighbor does it also start falling toward the right so the case will be like this here you can see that this domino is falling towards the right and its neighbor is not, is doing nothing it is actually standing up all right but when this start falling towards the right the external force the right force actually forces this neighbor to fall towards the right to go with the flow and to fall towards the right so both of the so both of the uh, neighbors start falling towards the right okay so these are the two cases now let's discuss the other two cases okay the other two cases that is when the left domino start for when one of the dominoes start for 
start falling towards the left and one of the dominoes start falling towards the right here you can see that i'm discussing these two things okay here you can see that this domino is actually falling towards the right and this domino is actually falling towards the left when both of the dominoes start falling towards the left there may be cases that the domino which lies in between uh, the domino which lies in between actually experiences an equal and opposite direction of forces from both the direction here you can see that this this one this domino actually experience a uh, uh, domino a left force from the two dominoes and here uh, at the same time it experience a uh, right force from the two dominoes and as there is uh, there is an equal force equal force of two domino from the left and equal force of two domino from the right but both the, uh, are in the opposite direction so what happened that the net resultant force it experiences it will be zero and as the net resultant force will be zero so it will not start falling either towards the left and the right and it keeps and it uh, and uh, it keep uh, keeps standing okay it keeps standing it will not fall either to the left or either to the right but there may be cases that when there will be no resultant force actually <coughs> experienced to one of the domino and means when the number of domino are even there will be no domino which nullify on which this force get nullified okay there will be no domino so you can see this case let me remove the remaining others you can see this case and this case and this case here you can see that the rightmost the leftmost domino start falling towards the right and the rightmost domino start falling towards the left and the and the moment they start falling uh, over each other what happened they disturb their neighbor but there are no <laughs> but there is no domino between both of these dominoes uh, falling dominoes there is no domino on which the resultant force will be nullified that's why it disturbed the neighbors but the resultant force will not be nullified okay so uh, so you can see <coughs> that here are the four cases that one of the dominoes start falling toward the right it disturbed it left domino one of the dominoes start falling toward the right it disturbed it right domino some dominoes fall towards the left and the right but they don't disturb anyone but some domino when they start falling they disturb their neighbors okay they disturb their neighbors and and in some cases the resultant will be nullified okay the net resultant force will be nullified and even after all this disruption this disruption of the from the left and the right domino of the falling of I means the falling of the left and the right domino there may be cases that some domino do not encounter any of the forces from any of the domino so uh, so this is our question and it's my request that you uh, try to read all these things okay this is a question because when you start reading the questions the intuition of the question the ideas about the question <clears throat> start getting into your mind and this is very good when you start doing the problem solving okay so it's my request you please write, read this question by yourself even after even uh, though you get the question okay it's my request please and along with the along with the reading of this question please pause this video right now and at least try to solve this question by yourself so uh, I, I have assumed that you have tried this question by yourself so now let's move on to the solution approach and let's try to discuss that how do how we will solve this question okay now the first thing which we need to discuss is the output like how our output will look like okay how the output will look like so here you can see that this this domino the domino which uh, on which my cursor is on so this domino is uh, will fall towards the left and when this domino fall towards the left it made its left domino to fall towards the towards its left so as it disturbed its left domino what happened is both of the dominoes start falling towards the left okay so means uh, earlier this domino was standing but it get disturbed by its neighbor and as the moment it get disturbed it update its state that is from the standing state towards the left state okay similarly this uh, domino keeps on standing here means either it has not experienced any of the force from any of the neighbor or either the net resultant force on that neighbor on that domino is zero so what happened at each uh, if in an output some domino will not encounter any of the force or, or is it still uh, keep standing then what we do we just show it with the dot now you can see that this domino is actually falling towards the right and it was given in the input <coughs> so as this input it's what it was falling towards the right uh, we showing it by the r but as it start falling 
<laughs> but as it start falling it disturbed its right neighbor and it made them fall towards the right so its right neighbor stated changes its state from standing to the right falling and similarly here also these two this leftmost rightmost domino start falling towards the left and it changes the state of the left domino and but 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 this domino that is lies in between among all these falling dominoes the net resultant force on this domino is constant okay the net resultant force get nullified as the force get nullified what happen with the domino is that it will not experience any force and it st it is still standing okay it don't experience any force and it is still standing and as it is standing we just uh, we just show it or we just we just show it with the dot here also these two start falling toward the left these two are start falling so these two are falling toward the right these two these two are falling towards the right and these two are falling towards the left but there is no such domino between both of the falling do between all the falling dominoes on which the net resultant force becomes zero and as there is no domino so that means there is no standing domino and these two dominoes are shown by the dot just because uh, it does it has not experienced any of the force so this is our output format now you might be thinking that how do we approach to this question how do we solve this question okay so just before moving on to the approach or solving of this question okay i'm just uh, i'm just saying that we are going to use the uh, dummy domino uh, by the dummy domino okay let's first try to understand the dummy concept okay so in the link list we use the dummy nodes what is the significance of this dummy node that significance was that it does not actually manipulates or changes the actual input but it helps us to achieve the output similarly here we use the concept of dummy domino but we use uh, why like how we use it we just use those dummy some dummy dominoes in such a way that it will not manipulate or it will not affect our input but it will helps us to achieve achieve our output so what i'll do i'll just uh, assume that there are two dummy dominoes one dummy dominoes lies here and one dummy dominoes lies at this rightmost point and as as these dominoes were falling either to the left and the right so that means this domino also need to be fall so i'm assuming that the leftmost domino is actually falling towards the left and the rightmost domino is actually falling towards the right so what actually they are doing they are actually doing nothing new just because left as leftmost is uh, falling towards the left and rightmost is falling towards the right they are not actually affecting our inputs but but what it helps uh, what, uh, but how it is helping is that it is helping us in creating a sections okay it is helping us to create the sections in which we will work right now so so okay let me write the uh, write the input here at first so i am assuming it was dot left dot right left dot left right dot three dots two dots left two dots it is an input which we are provided with okay now the uh, the output with which we are provided with uh, now let's <coughs> try to solve this question the so to solve this question i need to use two dummy dominoes and just to use these uh, two dummy dominoes what i'll do i will place the place a dummy domino on the left most extreme point and right most extreme point what what these dummy dominoes do actually the left most dummy domino actually falls toward the left and the right most dummy domino fall toward the right okay so so my input will become look like this my input will look uh, will now look like this now uh, how will i solve this question okay you might be thinking that how will i solve this question so to solve this question i'm not going to take the whole input at a same uh, at the same time or start working on it what i'm going to do is that i'm going to take a section of that uh, <clears throat> and now i will work on that section so you might be thinking that what section on which i will work okay so uh, you can see that here here the one domino uh, is falling towards the left and the other domino is also falling towards the left and there is a domino which lies in between okay so i can say i can say that when two dominoes when two dominoes any of the two dominoes when start performing any of the functionality either it start falling towards the left it start falling towards the right it start falling towards the left right or actually performing any of the activity its neighbors get actually disturbed okay 
uh, actually, actually its neighbor get disturbed when any of the two dominoes start performing any of the activity its neighbor get disturbed so here you can see here you can see that when this domino performs some activity this domino some perfor performs some activity its neighbor the neighbor which lies between these dominoes actually get disturbed okay so what i'll do i'll just take the section of those domino i'll take the sections which i'll i'll just I'll just take the sections uh, in which the extreme points. I'll just take extract out the sections in which the extreme points have the dominoes which actually perform in some work. And uh, and uh, based on their performance, based on the work what they are doing, I will try to predict out the behavior or the disturbance with the dominoes which lies in between actually faces. Okay, so let's try to understand what I'm seeing. What I'm going to do is that I'm just going to at first start working on this section just because here you can see that this become my one of the sections and here in the extreme that is the left extreme and the right extreme that is this and the this domino is actually performing some work what work they are performing they are either falling toward the left either falling toward the right they are actually doing something and the moment they start doing their work the neighbor the domino that lies between both of these both of these extreme dominoes they actually get disturbed and what I need to do in this question is that I just need to find out that what uh, what will be the behavior of the domino uh, after the disturbance okay so what I'll do I'll just at first take this section and start working on it the moment I'll finish it work what I'll do I'll just take this section now why just because <coughs> I've worked on that neighbor I've worked on that neighbor which were earlier standing and their neighbors were performing some work now I'm going to do the uh, choose the another section in which now new dominoes will perform some work and their neighbors get disturbed. Similarly, after this, I'll take this section and my faith will remain same that the extreme dominoes are actually performing something and disturbing the dominoes which lies in between. Okay, and the moment they start disturbing their dominoes, uh, the middle dominoes, their behavior changes. The dominoes that lies in between, their behavior changes, and I just need to map out that what behavior they will. Uh, except after that okay now let's try to understand it what are the cases which we encounter when we start dealing with the dominoes okay so the first case is that like i am always here definitely i am only <coughs> encounter the cases of the left and the right domino just because i know when i choose a section when i choose a section the behavior of the internal dominoes that lies in the middle are actually get affected by the dominoes which lies at the extreme position so what i what is my faith is that uh, I'll just try to figure out what are the what are the behavior of the extremos dominoes on the on the behavior of the extremos dominoes I try to predict what the uh, behavior the middle dominoes adapt so if the uh, extremos left be, uh, left domino start falling toward the left and the extremos right domino start falling toward the right start uh, falling toward the left that is this case that is That is this case. Here you can see. Here you can see. I have assumed that there is a domino. I have assumed there is a domino, and uh, and you can see this is a section. So when the extreme most, so within this section, when the extreme most left uh, left domino start falling toward the left, and the extreme most right domino start falling toward the left, what happen? Uh, what happens to its domino that lies in between is that these dominoes also start falling toward the left start falling towards left towards left okay you can see that why they are falling towards the left just because they go with the flow of their neighbors okay these don't know go with the flow with their neighbors now similarly the second case similarly the second case that is if the left uh, the leftmost the leftmost uh, domino of a section and the rightmost domino of a section, both of those dominoes actually start falling toward the right. Means if this domino start falling toward the right, and if this domino start falling toward the right, what happened to all the dominoes which lies in between both of the dominoes are that they actually start falling toward the left. They actually start falling toward towards right. This time they actually start falling toward the right. Why are they falling toward the right? Just because they go with the flow of their neighbors. Okay, the neighbors are falling toward the right, so they go with their uh, with the right. Okay, now the other points. That is, if the if 
if the if the leftmost if the last uh, leftmost domino start falling towards the left and the rightmost domino of a section start falling towards the right if the leftmost domino start falling towards left and the rightmost domino start falling towards right what happened to all the dominoes which lies in between is that they don't even experience any of the force on them why here you can see that these domino okay these domino these dominoes uh, these dom these dominoes are actually falling toward the left and these dominoes are actually falling toward the right so this domino that is stand the earlier standing are still remain standing why just because it did not uh, it will not experience any of the force from the neighbors so no work okay or i can say still standing still standing still standing okay there is one more case that is if the left domino the leftmost domino start falling toward the right and the rightmost domino start falling towards the left the moment such a case arise when the leftmost domino start falling towards the right and the rightmost domino start falling towards the left what happened there two cases arise the, there is a one case okay okay uh, here i am writing that i need to work need to do some work need to do some work what will be work uh, what the work we will do i just figure out soon but here i am uh, writing that i need to do some work okay so before discussing this case before solving this case let me again revise it that if both of the like i have uh, extracted out a section and now i am working on a section and based on the extreme post extreme most dominoes of that section i'll just try to figure i figure out what will the behavior of the nodes which lies in between so what happened what happened what will happen is that the dominoes okay so the dominoes uh, when both of the extreme most position dominoes are actually falling toward the left the domino which lies in between also falling toward the left when both of the dominoes extreme most dominoes are actually falling toward the right the domino in the between also falling toward the right when the left domino start falling toward the left the extreme most left start falling toward the left and the extreme most right falling toward the right which happen to the middle is that they remain uh, they still remain standing why just because it will not experience any of the force okay it is not experiencing any of the force okay now the fourth fourth domino when the uh, when the right domino leftmost domino start falling toward the right and the leftmost domino when the leftmost domino start for, falling toward the right and the rightmost domino start falling toward the left when these domino <coughs> and these dominoes start falling towards the center what happen there are two cases arise okay let's try to figure out what will be those cases two cases arise so the first case is first case is if the number of dominoes number of dominoes dominoes that lies between both of the extreme most points extreme most dominoes the number of dominoes between both of excluding those dominoes are if those number of dominoes are odd if those number of dominoes are odd what happen that at uh, that except the middle section all the dominoes lying on the left start falling toward the left but all the dominoes lying towards the right start falling toward the right but the middle one but the domino which lies at the middle position what happened with that is that it 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 experiences zero force why because it is actually experiencing an equal and opposite force and the moment it uh, it uh, experience an equal and the opposite force what happen uh, its force get nullified okay that's why it is experiencing zero force means here this domino uh, when these domino start falling toward the left these domino start falling toward the right what happen uh, you can see here is the odd number of domino so this middle middle one domino that is the no, the domino which lies in the middle position what happened all the dominoes its left start falling left and all the dominoes its right start falling right but this domino still keeps standing why why just because the net force on it is zero it will not it is not encountering any of the force or i can say that the net balance force on it is zero but this is the case of odd number of nodes odd number of nodes in my case that when e when there is even number of nodes okay in this section what is happening that these nodes start falling towards the center these nodes are start falling towards the center but you can see there are even number of nodes which are lying bit line x uh, li which are lying between the extreme most points okay between this section okay excluding the rightmost and the leftmost domino 
so here you can see as uh, there are even number of dominoes what happened there is no such a note uh, there is no such a domino on which the net balance force will become zero so what happened e or uh, half number of dominoes start falling towards the left half number of dominoes start falling towards the right and as there is no such domino on which the net experience force is zero and uh, there is no such domino which keeps standing at the last so let me write it let me write it here right here here work will be done will be done on the basis of on the basis of condition okay on the basis of condition there are two condition first condition is if n is odd means the number of dominoes which lies between both of the uh, excluding the extreme most dominoes is odd if those number of dominoes is odd then the middle one domino keeps standing one will be will keep standing okay and all the others all the other dominoes which lies on the left and the right start falling uh, start falling uh, following the uh, with the by following the path of their neighbors okay they start uh, they start falling towards the center by following the path of the neighbor but if it is even if it is even all the dominoes start falling actually in this case all dominoes start falling there will be no domino which will be keep standing here all dominoes start falling i hope uh, you get the intuition of this question that how we will solve or approach to this question here we are just doing nothing we are just handling the cases with the dominoes actually experience okay and one more thing which we are doing in this question is that i am here adding a two uh, two uh, dummy domino at the, one at the very left extreme and one at the very right extreme or what these dominoes actually doing they are not actually uh, manipulating the input they are actually helping me to achieve the output okay so how it is achieving it helps me to create a sections and after creating a section i start working on a section in by a faith okay i am working on a section by a faith that that uh, all the all the dominoes which lies between uh, lies in that section okay all those dominoes which actually lies in the section are actually uh, and and are currently standing their nature or the motion which they follow will actually determined by the dominoes of their neighbor okay so that's all now that's for the explanation part now what we are going to do is that we are going to move on to the pap coding portal and there we write the code of it so this is our pep uh, coding portal and here we uh, complete this function okay and here we complete this push domino function so at first what i'm going to do is that i am going to write the code and then i will explain you what i have done care array equals to new care str, str dot length plus two okay why i am creating this uh, uh why i am creating this array i'm soon explain soon i will explain you okay um, but let me at first create this array i equals to actually not zero i equals to one and i is less than array dot length and i plus plus what i'll do i put something in all those positions what str str dot caret i minus one caret i minus one put all these things so what i'm doing right now okay till now what i have done i have just created a new array why just because uh, during the explanation part i have already told you that i will add two dummy domino into my 
uh, input as so that my input uh, so what uh, so that those dummy domino help me to achieve my result so here what i'm adding i'm adding the left domino that is a domino that is falling towards the left at the zeroth index okay and I'm adding a domino at the extreme most right position that is falling towards the right and between them means between the <coughs> okay so in all the other remaining positions what I've done I have just done nothing but I've, I have added all the other I have uh, I've added the input uh, input string into the all those positions okay till now what I'm what I have achieved I have achieved an array of the characters uh, having two extra dominoes that is the dummy dominoes okay now let's uh, work now int uh, int uh, j equals to 0 j equals to 0 and int k equals to 1 okay what are this j and k what are the significance of this soon i'll explain you but let me write the code at first while well, k is less than array dot length and similarly while array while array sorry but it would be arr and here also ar dot dot okay ark ark is dot if this is a dot what i'll do i'll just k plus plus okay so what I'm doing between these three lines, okay? What is the sequence of this while loop? Actually, within this while loop, I'm creating a section, okay? I'm creating a section. Why I'm creating a section? And what is the sequence of this first while loop? First while loop is actually used to iterate over the whole array which I have created right now. And the second array, and the second array which I have written, the nested loop. So the nested, uh, nested loop which I have written uh, the in the second part. This uh, this nested loop helped me to get the first section. Okay, it helps me to achieve the first section. And what this first while loop does, it helps me to iterate over the uh, whole <coughs> whole array. So here you can see that I have initialized zero with the zero position and k with the first position. And I am incrementing k each time just because here I am trying to find the first section. Okay, now here I am assuming that I have found the first section. Now what I'll do after finding the first section. I'll check whether if k minus j is greater than one or not. Just why I'm uh, why I'm checking this because uh, just because there may be a cases arise when uh, when there are two dominoes which are the neighbor of each other means the two dominoes uh, standing apart standing just beside their each other and one is falling toward the left and one is falling toward the right and this doesn't make any sense when <laughs> means if I if I check any condition for those. Uh, dominoes it doesn't make any sense why just because these dominoes are actually not disturbing uh, and uh, disturbing each other they are actually doing their work if one is falling toward the left and one is falling toward the right they are actually doing their work they are not actually disturbing anything and one more point is that there is actually uh, not a single domino which lies between between the extreme dominoes okay means if a section if a section contains only two dominoes that is the extreme most left point and extreme most right point that means within that section there is no middle dominoes on which i need to predict out and as there is no domino to be predicted what i'll do i'll just ignore it okay i just ignore that cases so when k manager is greater than one when there is a domino there is a domino which lies between the two extreme dominoes what i'll do I'll just uh, call it uh, call the solve configuration function and soon uh, soon I will create this function confi solve configuration function with uh, some parameters that is that is the arr j and k I'll pass I'll call this function with these parameters and now what I'll do the moment I come out of this loop I need to do something that is I update the J with a K means now uh, now again when I wo start working on the next uh, domino what I'll do I just uh, now my first initial point of the second section will be now my new <coughs> uh, new point new starting point of the second section will be the ending point of the previous section so that's why I updated J with a K and again updated the K with a K plus plus so let's code the sole configuration function let's code it so here i'm creating the solve configuration function and public stat static 
void sole configuration care care array first parameter and second will be i and third will be j now we have already discussed the four cases which we encounter when we start working on the configuration okay the four position is uh, actually the four uh, the four cases which we have discussed which we have discussed are actually the positions of the uh, the position or the motion that is uh, hold by the extreme most positions so let me discuss it again if array is let is care let is care if array uh, array i is l means if the extreme most domino is falling towards the left and and array array i and j is also l if the extreme most right domino is also falling toward the right okay what i'll do i'll do some work otherwise i need to check else if otherwise i need to check if array i is falling towards the right okay let's handle the case of the right and array j is actually j j is actually falling towards the right if such a case arises then here also i'll do something uh, some task okay what will uh, what will be those tasks soon uh, when we write the code we will understand it okay but let me write all the four conditions the other third condition will be else if array i if such a case if such a domino will start falling towards the left and array j array j start falling towards the right if such a case in this case actually we don't uh, do anything okay means here in this case we don't have nothing to we don't have anything to do okay we don't need to do just because uh, a, because all those dominoes which lies uh, um, excluding these extreme positions all those dominoes will lie in this section actually they don't experience any force uh, experience any force because of the uh, they are <clears throat> because their extreme dominoes are actually falling out of the force uh, out because uh, outsides okay means the left dominoes falling towards the left and the right dominoes actually falling towards the right okay so the last case that is the else case within this else case we need to do something okay yeah we need to do to do some work what uh, what will be our work our work will be at first try to figure out that uh, we either we need like here we made the decision on the basis of the number of dominoes if the number of dominoes is even we will perform some work if the number of dominoes is odd we will again perform some work okay so before uh, working on this section let's complete these sections okay let's complete this section here what we'll do int k equals to i plus 1 here i'm going to update all those dominoes which are lying in this sections except this uh, except this extreme dominoes uh, and i need to update them and i'll update with int k equals to i plus 1 and k need to be less than j and k plus plus k plus plus and at here array of k will become L. these get updated with the similarly here also in this case what happened let me copy it here also k goes to okay sorry uh, int k equals to i plus 1 k is less than j k plus plus array of k becomes r this time it become r and in this case we don't need to do anything now let's try to figure out the fourth case means when the left most left extreme most uh, domino start falling towards right and right most extreme domino start falling towards left and when they start falling towards e on each other we need to do something what we need to do is we need to we need to figure out that whether <coughs> that whether is there any node which on which the ex net extreme net extreme force will become zero or it be it will or it will keep on standing or is there any no node okay so uh, the case of 
the case of net to balance forward become zero is the case of the number of dom uh, is the case when the number of dominoes is odd and the other case on which there is no net balance force then uh, this is the case of odd number of, even number of dominoes so int j equals to and difference equals to j equals to i similarly here if difference difference modulo actually modulo 2 and this is even now here i will work something what work will do uh, let me find the mid int mid equals to plus j divided by 2 i plus j divided by 2 here i will run two loop okay first loop will be int k equals to i plus 1 i plus 1 to k is less than mid and uh, and k plus plus actually and k plus plus and here i will store the values of array k and here i will store the value of array k with r because here the leftmost extreme domino is actually falling towards the right so it makes its neighbors to fall towards the right okay similarly similarly let me copy it similarly uh, what happened uh, similarly all the dominoes except the middle one start falling toward the left hand side the dominoes uh, just because they go with the flow of the rightmost extreme domino okay so here also in k equals to mid plus one actually this time mid plus one k should be less than j p plus plus and k become start falling towards the left okay so uh, these are the two cases which we need to handle in it otherwise what we need to do let me write the else case otherwise what we need to do we need to find the mid this time also int mid equals to int mid equals to sorry uh, at first let me find the dif difference okay Difference equals to j minus i. Actually, it was difference equals to j minus i. Difference equals to j minus i. And if okay, okay, yeah, we have already uh, already write, uh, written the code of this. Now <clears throat> we were checking that whether uh, there were even number of dominoes. We have handled their case. Else, what we'll write? We find the mid int mid equals to mm, int mid equals to i plus j divided by 2 and uh, we will here also we will run two for loops what this for loop does these for loops also update the <coughs> all the elements except the mid one and and all those elements which were falling toward the right and which were falling toward the left here, these for loop update them so here it becomes less k is less than equals to mid and k is less than j so here also it start so let me check it whether it is all right or not so in k equals to i plus one k is less than equals to mid k plus plus array k fall towards the right and k equals to mid plus one k is less than j k plus plus and array k falls towards the right so that's all for this code okay so till now what we have done our arrays get updated so after running this uh, solve configuration function we get the updated positions of each and every domino but now what we need to do is that we just need to convert them into the string and then we need to return that string so what i'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to create a new string builder string okay string builder res equals to new string builder okay and for for int i equals to 1 i is less than r res dot not res arr dot length minus 1 
and I++. Why I am running the <coughs> loop from I R uh, first position and excluding the uh, one position at the last just because uh, when in the character array I have added two dominoes at the extreme most left and extreme most right position and, I, and when I need to return the answer I just need to remove those domino. So that's why I am excluding those domino uh, those extreme positions okay. Now res dot append let me append the final answer into it and it will be nothing but array at the ith position and here I will return this array and before returning I just need to convert it into a string so that's all for the code now let's try to run it and if you encounter any error we will try to solve them so here we are getting the error let's me figure it out so the array is just because I forgot to write the name of the input array. So it was AR. So now let's again try to run it. Here we are again getting the error. Yeah, it is just because I passed the wrong, uh, wrong array. It is not ARR, it is AR only. Okay. And again, one more compilation error cannot find symbol it is not finding any symbol just because it is not ARR it is AR it is all my mistake really very sorry for that okay and most probably this time it will fun again we get index out of bound error let me check why we are getting this error and there is a code now let's try to submit it for all the test cases and most probably it will work okay so let's check whether it is working or not it is taking so much time. I think the network is so low. Uh, so most probably uh, the code will work for all the, yeah, it is working for all the test cases. So that's all for this video. I hope you get the concept of this question. It's my request to read the question thoroughly by yourself. And also after getting the intuition of this question, you try to write the code by yourself. Actually, the code is very easy. Whatever we have figured it out, we have just written them in a programming language. So that's all for this video. Let's meet in the next video. Till, uh, till then, stay safe, stay healthy, uh, keep learning.